Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, my name is Dr. Ina Lakshan here at the Hormone Rebalance Center. Um, so I hope you're having a great day and in today's video I wanted to share with you uh, the number one most common mistake I see my patients make um, when they're starting on the ketogenic diet. So for those of you who know me, you'll probably know that I love and promote the ketogenic diet. I've tried a lot of different dietary interventions both on myself and on patients alike and it's by far the one that I've noticed the best results where people not only lose weight in a healthy way but also feel great have great moods are more energetic um, and you know we're also actually helping against other risk factors that they may be having like prediabetes high cholesterol high blood pressure and and things like that it's also one of the best diets for hormonally driven weight gain that I commonly use with my uh, perimenopausal and menopausal patients so um, what I wanted to share is one of the common mistakes that I see um, why people are not getting as good of a success with it or why people are struggling when they're starting this diet and the reason is because you're simply not adding enough fat. So if you know a little bit about the ketogenic diet, and I'm not going to go into explaining too much about it now, but if you know a bit about the ketogenic diet, it's focused on high fat, low carb um, uh, foods, and pretty much we're trying to change the metabolism of the body to go from a carb burner to a fat burner, and that helps use uh, all your metabolic processes, your fat breaking mechanisms, and not only uh, is a better source of fuel, fat, um, but also it really helps burn down your own fat stores. So. Um, what uh, people are not doing is they're actually not adding enough fats to their diet. We can all kind of wrap our heads around cutting back on the carbs because that's common across all diets. So especially for those who tried a lot of different diets, everyone can understand the reason why to cut back on carbs. But people are too afraid still of the fats. Um, and the important thing to note is if you uh, only cut back on the carbs but don't add enough of the fats, you're going to end up being on perhaps too low of a caloric diet. You're going to end up having both low blood sugar levels and potentially low ketones um, it's just gonna you're not gonna be feeling as good as you would if you would have added um, enough fats in fact adding fats from the get-go is not only a healthy way of losing the weight but also helps stimulate all those um, you know metabolic uh, pathways to start shifting from being carb burner to fat burner so here's one tip if you're if you're considering to try out the ketogenic perhaps if you're already on it or if you've tried it and you felt like you've struggled with it make sure you're adding enough fat um, and I don't recommend necessarily looking at like a grams amount per se but really following your body's natural cues in terms of hunger um, and if you let's say had a meal and two three hours later you're still hungry you probably did not have enough fat in this meal. So try having fat all throughout the day with every single meal, perhaps even potentially two to three sources. So for example, breakfast, something like eggs, avocado, potentially Greek yogurt, unsweetened, um, and definitely do the bulletproof coffee or make use of MCT oil. I find uh, that really helps accelerate the ketogenic diet. I've spoke about MCT in one of my previous blogs. Um, and then lunch should be a healthy salad with some protein, perhaps a little bit of cheese if you're able to tolerate dairy, um, and you know some sort of nuts lots of uh, nuts and seeds throw those in your salad as well as uh, perhaps you know if you're having a soup um, then make sure it's uh, you know perhaps there's some it's, it's made with bone broth and and other meats and then similar concept for dinner uh, there's lots of recipes out there that help to make like an all-in-one type of meal um, and that is both delicious nutritious and pretty much just make sure not to forget about the fat lots of olive oil on your salads lots of coconut olive uh, coconut oil everywhere um, and nut butters make use of just a variety of different fats it doesn't have to be all meat based on the contrary I encourage more plant-based fats um, and get creative look up some recipes and this is really gonna help to make sure that you're gonna be successful okay uh, and don't forget to track the ketones that's another mistake I see people making they don't actually track ketones they don't really know if they're in, ket in, ke in ketosis okay so if you have any questions please feel free to send me a message I'll be happy to answer if you're looking to potentially start the ketogenic diet and not sure where to start do reach out to me um, I, I really help uh, patients providing a lot of resources and kind of helping them um, cater it to their needs as uh, and, and helping them make the transition okay uh, definitely worthwhile a try okay I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye for now.